and play. And I can spin this around and I can kind of see what's going on with it and get a, a pretty good idea. So there's some pretty cool things you can do with constraints. You can, you know, you use just regular constraints to do the mate, mate, angle, insert type of constraints. Tangent can be very helpful. Um, and then, you know, if you're using something like adaptivity, you can do some pretty intriguing things. So that's um, that's this episode. I am, as I mentioned, we'll talk a little bit more about different types of constraints, the motion constraint, transitional, and contact set. Now, one thing I, I failed to mention, I apologize, I meant to do this earlier on. Um, you know, there are a lot of different types of things that you can constrain to that we haven't talked about. I'm just going to suppress some of these constraints real quick. Um, and and uh, let's grab, let's uh, suppress that as well. So when you're doing something like a, 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 a mate constraint, you'll notice you can pick edges and you can also pick vertices and points. So, you know, I can do a lot of interesting combinations that I could have an edge always going through a point. Or I could have two points that are constrained to one another to give me something like a ball and socket. So you could get a slider, you can get something like a ball and socket. You know, there are a lot of different scenarios that you can get with these constraints. Um, and you can also use work geometry that, you know, I, I may want to put a work point out here in space and be able to constrain something to, uh, to a work point. You know, I can come in and say, you know, I have a vertice here and I can just cycle through and get a vertice and be able to constrain it to a point or, uh, you know, some work geometry. So there, there are a lot of things you can do. Now, one thing I would say to be careful of is when you're constraining edges and points that, you know, if I, if I constrain to an edge and then I later come back and add a fillet on those edges, the, the system doesn't really know what to do with that because that edge is no longer there. So it's going to give you an error message and have you go in and fix that constraint. So I try not to constrain to edges, but sometimes just for a hinge, I will use an edge. But um, that's something to keep in mind when you're adding these different types of constraints. That, you know, for the mate, you can use points, edges, and faces. For angle, you can use edges and faces. For tangents, you can use faces. And then insert, you use uh, faces as well. Uh, faces and edges, actually. You can use cylindrical edges. So, you know, these are, these are things to play around with. And um, hopefully this helps. Hopefully uh, those of you that maybe have had some questions with constraints, we were able to answer some of those. And then I think, you know, this will be probably that the next episode will be a little bit more advanced with some of the motion, you know, gear ratios, transitional things going across multiple faces, and then using the UCS. So with that, hopefully that was, that was beneficial, and we'll catch you next time.